Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope your day is going really well. I am in Luminar 3 today and I'm having fun with the LUT mapping filter. Um, I've had some questions uh, before about, hey Jim, can you do a video about LUT mapping? And you know, some questions about like, what is a LUT? How's it different than a preset? Why do I care? People didn't really say that, but you know, I think people wanna know why, do, why should they care about this? I think it's an interesting and cool feature in Luminar, even though admittedly I haven't used them in very many videos. I think you can get some interesting looks that you may not be able to get otherwise. And so I'm gonna dive into that in this deep dive video. Uh, the first thing I uh, wanted to answer is like, what is a LUT? So a LUT stands for lookup table, and it's basically a way to map colors from one to another. And so a LUT has, has, has historically been used in cinema or film production, and people will um, apply a LUT to their film in order to sort of color grade it. So for example, you might be shooting under certain conditions when you're filming and you want it to look different. And so a LUT would allow you to change the colors and tones from how it was filmed to how you want it to look. And so there's a lot of different LUTs. Uh, there are LUTs available on the Luminar Marketplace. There are LUTs available on the web, uh, both free and for purchase. And so you can look that up if you want to get into it. And by the way, I'm sure there's a lot of resources on the web if you really want to get into uh, a, a true deep dive into this topic um, from a technical standpoint. It won't be here. Um, but I just wanted to share with you some thoughts on the filter and show how it works. And so um, let's hop into that. Now, one other question I actually get is, how's that different from a preset? A LUT uh, basically impacts color and tone in your image, and so it'll allow you to apply those things, uh, or excuse me, by applying a LUT, you can impact color and tone in your image. A preset, or also known as a look, which I can never seem to remember, um, it can actually contain more. A preset or a look can contain a LUT plus other things like you know, sharpening or detail enhancement or vignette or exposure changes or clarity, things like that you can put into a preset or a look would not be present in a LUT. So hope that helps. Let me show you the filter now. Here's an image, uh, just a nighttime shot at a bar. Um, and you just click on choose LUT. And as you hover over the ones below the line, these are the LUTs that are built into Luminar. So as you hover over them, you can see how they impact the look of the photo. I'll just kind of hover over a few of these. And I kind of like this color punch hot. So I'm gonna click that and choose it and automatically gets applied to my photo. So there's the before and the after. So there's three sliders that you see here. There's the amount, the contrast, and the saturation. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Amount is effectively an opacity slider for this filter. So at zero, none of that LUT is being applied, so your photo looks the way it was shot. And at 100, all of that look from the LUT is getting applied to the photo. So I think for this one, I kind of like it around 70 or so. Contrast, I think, is pretty uh, self-explanatory. I think I would take that down a little bit. And saturation, as well, is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I might bump it up a little bit simply because I like my colors. Now, this is where um, I want to pause for a second. There's a couple of things I think uh, come in really handy when you're working with LUTs. They may or may not be a one-click solution to a photo. Like, this photo looks pretty good um, with that LUT and nothing else, right? There's the before, there's the after. If you like that look, you can use it as a one-click and, you know, one and done. Export your photo, share it, do whatever you want to do. Um, I'm generally of the opinion that photos need some pre-work or post-work. And so what I mean by that is pre-work would be, let me get the develop filter or the tone filter or something like that and do a few things to impact the, the overall lighting and the overall look of the photo before I stick a, a, a LUT on it. Um, and that's easy to do, right? You can just say add filter and you would do this in advance if you're doing it pre-work, if you will. I'm using a raw file, so it's raw develop. And you might come in here and say, well, I'm gonna change the contrast, take down some of the highlights, add some clarity. I don't know if I'm gonna change the temp a little bit. Stuff like that, and um, that would get your photo going from there to there. So very simple, kind of minor adjustments, but they're kind of the basics. Um, and then when you stick a LUT on it, you're gonna have a slightly different impact, or, or the look is gonna be slightly different because you've made these pre-adjustments. An alternative would be, um, you can delete this. Uh, if you did the LUT, you might wanna do some post work. So maybe you wanna grab the tone filter and come in and say, well, I like smart tone here, I want a little bit more contrast. Uh, and I'm making this up as I go, uh, maybe take some of these things down, whatever, either way, 
I personally think, you know, and it may or may not like it, that's okay. Um, I personally think that having a LUT and applying that um, generally requires a little bit of pre-work or post-work to the photo to get exactly what you're looking for. It may be a one-click solution like on this one, not bad, uh, but I would probably generally do that pre-work or post-work. A couple of ideas. If you're doing work first, I might do that raw develop, for example, on the base layer and then add a new adjustment layer. So you could add the LUT mapping filter on the new adjustment layer and then do any other customization there. That way you've separated all that sort of creative stuff away from your basic adjustments. Just a thought. You don't have to, as you saw here, I, you can also do it on the same layer. So that's LUT mapping. Now, um, I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna clear that by hitting reset. Um, also, when you're clicking choose LUT, you can see that there's load custom LUT file. So where do you get custom LUT files? You can go download some on the internet for free. You can probably find, not probably, you can find some that are for sale. Uh, there's also some in the Luminar Marketplace. So if you go to download new LUT files, it'll open a browser, take you to the Luminar Marketplace and their LUTs page, and you can download the color grading 3D LUTs, these cinematic LUTs, both of which are free, and there's a couple premium packs if you choose to purchase them as well. Once you download those, save them in a folder on your desktop. So when you go to choose LUT, you can say load custom LUT file, open it up to that, um, um, that folder, and then choose one of these. And I'm just gonna choose this cool blue BW, and boom, it applies that LUT to my photo. Once again, I might wanna make some adjustments to the amount, to the contrast, and I may wanna do some pre or post work with the photo with the raw developer tone filter. Plus you may wanna add some other filters for creative things but that's how you can do that. Now, um, if you noticed, when you hover over the built-in LUTs, you get a preview of what they're like, but you wouldn't with, um, now these are recently used, so I'm previewing those because these are all custom LUTs that I've loaded uh, or recently used, but they're not saved in a Luminar. So here's something you can do. Um, you can take this back to whatever its uh, typical look is, call that 100 with zero contrast and zero saturation. And in order to get a preview, you can just save that as a Luminar look. You could call that LUT Cool Blue BW, or whatever it's called, and then hit save. And then that's saved as a Luminar look. And then you can go into your, your custom user Luminar looks and um, click on that to get a preview. So that's a way to get around the fact that you can't preview custom LUTs, but you can save them as a look and then you have them as a preview, so pretty handy. Let me get one more photo and show you another lot. Okay, here we are, just a completely different photo. I'm gonna choose another custom LUT, and I'm gonna get this one here. Uh, both the, All of my LUTs there were downloaded for free in those two packs that were in the Luminar Marketplace. So um, this one didn't have a huge impact. There's the original, and there's the 100% uh, the uh, if you will, of that LUT. I'm gonna add a little contrast and bring up the saturation as well. And you can see it starts to pop the colors. And this is where I say, you know, maybe go do a little post work. I'm gonna get the golden hour filter and stick that on top of this photo and just drag some of that saturation. And that's just a customization of that. There's before the golden hour filter and there's with. Now the alternative is I can turn off LUT mapping. If you look at it, it made a huge difference in the photo because that's no LUT ma mapping, but it has the golden hour filter, um, which didn't make a huge impact on the photo by itself but coupled with the LUT mapping, um, this, uh, this free LUT that I got from the Luminar Marketplace, it had a really nice impact on the photo, and I think that looks great. So there's the before and the after. Now one other thing to think about is each filter does have a blend mode. So you might wanna click on LUT mapping, and go into blend, and as you probably know, you can hover over blend modes to see what they'll do to your photo. I don't typically use blend modes a whole lot, uh, but there's no doubt that they're powerful and give you some creative options that you may not come up with on your own. But that was it for my deep dive. I wanted to tell you what a LUT is. I wanted to show you how the filters work and uh, how you can get previews of custom LUTs by saving them as looks or presets. And also wanted to talk about the difference between a LUT and a preset or a look. And I hope that helps my friends. I appreciate you watching. If you have any other ideas for future deep dive videos, please leave a comment down below. And that's it. I. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.